Over the past few years, I went from zero to over 10 billion views across all of my different YouTube channels without even showing my face and without even recording anything with a camera. So here are seven different things that I would do to grow my YouTube channel from zero, whether it's a personal brand channel or a faceless YouTube automation channel. And if you don't know what YouTube automation is or how to grow a YouTube channel without even showing your face and without even recording anything with a camera, we're not going to talk about that in this video. So I'm going to leave a couple of free tutorials that you can watch in the description box down below. Anyways, the tip number one out of seven different tips to grow your YouTube channel and get more views is gonna be to choose the right niche from the start. This is extremely important because of two different reasons. The very first one is that if your video topic is something that no one is interested in, it's not gonna get views. Regardless of whether you have the best video editing, you have the best thumbnail, the title is on point, everything is on point, but if no one is interested in that topic, it's not gonna produce results, not in terms of views and not in terms of monetary value. So let's say for example you want to make a video about how much you love coffee and you spend 15 hours editing that video like video editing is really on point the thumbnail is really bright and catchy and all of that but it's not gonna get clicks and it's not gonna produce results because no one is interested in that but on the flip side let's say you made a video about something that a lot of people are interested in so it's a broad topic that a lot of people are passionate about but maybe your video editing is not that on point and your thumbnail is not that good in the beginning you will still potentially produce a lot better results and get you a lot more views and a lot more subscribers. So choosing the right niche from the start is extremely important. And the second reason why choosing the niche is extremely important is because a lot of people will tell you that maybe you should go with something that you are passionate about. And maybe there's nothing wrong with that. But honestly, maybe that thing that you are passionate about may not be extremely valuable to other people. And maybe there's not a lot of people who are also passionate about that. Or even if like, you can get some views with that, it might not produce results in terms of monetary value. So you may not be able to make that business profitable. So regardless of whether you're passionate about something or not, you should choose something that actually produces results. Like, yes, of course, it would be great if you could make a channel on the subject that you are really passionate about and you love that. But if you don't think that it's going to get views or subscribers or it's going to make you money, then I don't think there's a reason that you should go with it. If you're here to have fun and do something that you're passionate about on the side, then yeah, you can go with that. But if you're here to make money and build a profitable online business, then maybe in some cases, Cases, you shouldn't go with something that you are passionate about. Even if you, for example, are not extremely passionate about NFTs, if that produces results, if it gets views, if it makes money, the CPM is high, I would suggest going with that. So in this case, it's going to be business and profitability over the passion. The second on our list is going to be using tools like WithIQ if you get more views, more subscribers, and grow your channel overall. So I've been using WithIQ ever since this channel had zero subscribers. So I basically used it from the start of this channel, and we were currently sitting at around six. 600,000 subscribers. So I'm going to leave vidIQ in the description box down below so you can get it for almost completely free for a full month and you can test it out for yourself. So once you log into vidIQ, you're going to have access to a lot of different tools that will allow you to do the research. It will allow you to see the best video ideas, the best video titles, and to overall help you get more views, get more subscribers, and grow your YouTube channel a lot faster. So to supercharge your growth on YouTube, you can just sign up to vidIQ once again using the first link in the description box down below. The third on our list is going to be uploading more videos and not quitting until your channel is big. And obviously you shouldn't quit then as well, but I see a lot of people will start their YouTube channels and like after posting 12 videos, they will be like, you know, Dave, this is not really profitable. I'm not making any money. So they just quit on it and they just jump on a different thing. They do now drop shipping, you know, oh, after two weeks, drop shipping doesn't work. Let me try something else. And obviously you're never going to build a business like that. Upload as many videos as possible and stay consistent until you start producing massive results with that channel. Like, of course, I do have some channels that I show on, on this channel as well. I show the analytics where we go from zero to hundreds of dollars in a matter of seven days. And that's crazy. But not all of the channels produce such results so fast. I also have channels that it takes me three months, four months or five months to get any traction on YouTube. So it sometimes takes a lot of patience and you have to push through that post as many videos as possible so that you can build up that portfolio of videos and so that you can learn and have actual experience with YouTube. So upload as much content as possible and do not quit until your channel is successful. Like, because if you chose the right niche, you chose the right topic, you're using the right tools, you're using the methods, which I'm about to share with you inside of this video. As long as you're being consistent and you're not giving up on it, there is no reason why your channel wouldn't succeed. The only way that it's not going to succeed is if you quit, you stop posting videos, you stop working on your channel, then yeah, it's going to quit and you're not going to get any views. Number four, extremely important, doing research. So 
So you always, before making a video, you wanna make sure that you did proper research on that. Again, you might wanna make a video, you might have like a great video idea and you're really passionate about that subject and you get super excited, you wanna make a video about it, but before you do that, go out there and do proper research to see if it's actually gonna produce results or not. So what I suggest to you is whatever niche you're in, let's say for example, your channel is about cooking, open up at least 10 different big channels in that niche. Let's say in this case, that's gonna be cooking. So open up 10 different cooking channels that are already successful. They don't need to be super massive, but just even if, even if they have like 100,000 subscribers, open up their channel and look at their latest 30 videos. Check out how those videos are performing. You can see what is the average views they're getting. If they're getting on average 10,000 views per video, and then you see some video popping up, it has like 40,000 views. Then you wanna look at that video, you wanna research that video and make a similar one. Use a similar thumbnail, similar title, similar video topic, or the same video topic, similar description, and basically replicate their success. If it's working for them and they're in the same niche, chances are it's gonna work for you. And imagine picking the best performing videos of all the different channels in your niche and all the best videos that have the highest potential are on your channel, then you can supercharge your growth and get a lot more views. Number five, this is not a necessary one, so this is an optional step because literally the best traffic for your YouTube videos, the best way to get views for your YouTube videos is from YouTube itself. So you shouldn't even be thinking about promoting it on different platforms because the algorithm, if you optimize your videos properly, the algorithm will reward you and you can get a lot more views from YouTube itself than by promoting it on different platforms. But in the beginning, I know it's sometimes hard to look at your channel like you've been doing so much hard work. You might have invested thousands of dollars in your channel, but it just doesn't get any views. It's like five views or two subscribers. So I know it sometimes hurts to see that. So what you can do if you wanna see the results faster is you can start promoting your YouTube channel across different social media platforms. So you can start sharing your links, sharing your videos and sharing your channel on websites like mev.com. That's another social media platform just like Facebook that currently has around 70 million monthly active users. So you can join different groups on Mevi that are related to your videos. If your videos are, let's say, for example, about making money online, you can search for make money online groups, join those groups with literally thousands of different members from around the world and start sharing your videos over there because potentially some of those people will be interested in watching your videos. They might subscribe, they might stick with your channel. You can obviously not get a lot of views from that, but even if you get just a couple of hundred views from that, it's gonna create a snowball effect. You can also use platforms like Pinterest.com, Quora.com, Reddit.com, Facebook.com, Instagram.com. There's a lot of different platforms that you can use, also forums that are in your niche. You can start sharing and spreading the word about your channel and your videos on different platforms so you can bring some external traffic to your videos and get those initial views. Number six, paying for shoutouts. So this is also another great way if you supercharge your growth and get a lot more views. It's to leverage channels that are already big in your niche. They don't need to be extremely massive, like millions of subscribers. Even if they have just 10,000 subscribers and they're, for example, also in the cooking niche, you can basically reach out to them and ask them if they would be willing to promote their channel either as a way of a shout out in one of their videos or in the community tab to share one of your videos or to spread a word about your channel. And if they do it for a couple of hundred bucks, that's great for you. You can actually get a pretty decent amount of subscribers because those people are also interested in that particular topic. So you can grow your channel pretty quickly if you have some money to invest into shout outs. It doesn't necessarily have to be tens of thousands of dollars that you're investing in shout outs. Even if it's a hundred bucks, 200 bucks, it's still gonna help you grow your channel faster. And number seven and final is to leverage the power of YouTube Shorts. You see, TikTok is currently one of the biggest, if not the biggest YouTube's competitor. YouTube and TikTok are in a little war and they have similar amount of active monthly users, billions of monthly users across all the platforms. So they're both fighting for attention to see who's gonna survive because TikTok is now a massive platform and they're posting like short videos on TikTok, which are really addictive. So because of that, YouTube introduced YouTube Shorts because otherwise they would die off as a platform. So they introduced YouTube Shorts and they're willing to invest in YouTube Shorts as much as possible and they're rewarding creators who are now posting YouTube Shorts. That's why it's extremely easy to get views with YouTube Shorts. That's why I have channels that we grow from zero to 900 million views in a single year with YouTube Shorts because YouTube algorithm is pushing them like crazy. I have channels where I also show this on my channel as well on this one that you are watching. Basically, I would start a YouTube Shorts channel in a single day after posting three YouTube Shorts, like some stupid videos, I would still get tens of thousands of views on them on a brand new channel with zero subscribers. So if you haven't already, make sure to jump on YouTube Shorts because they are gonna help you grow your channel a lot faster and get a lot more views. But keep in mind that the quality of those views is not high at all. So those views are super low quality. They don't convert that much into subscribers or buyers or customers or clients. So keep that in mind 
but they're great for getting more views and getting a bigger exposure on your channel. And sometimes I even recommend deviving a few channels. Like if you're posting long form content on one and YouTube shorts on the other one, that will also be great. Sometimes you can mix, but in most of the cases, I would suggest you go separate channels. And then once your YouTube shorts channel starts growing a lot faster than the long form one, just leverage the audience that you build on the shorts channel to push to your long form content channel. So those will be seven different ways that you can grow your YouTube channel from zeros to start getting views and subscribers. Everything that we talked about will once again be linked in the description box and down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.